first met Jerry, well, I didn't actually, I first saw Jerry. I went to an all-girls Catholic high school. He went to an all-boys Catholic high school. And his high school would have a teen club. And uh, I would see Jerry come in to the teen club, and he was always with a bunch of boys. He'd come in for a little while, leave again. And I told my girlfriend, if he ever stays long enough for a lady's choice, I'm going to ask him to dance. <laughs> okay, well, then fast forward where I'm in college. Uh, he's in the Air Force. He comes home. We're from Louisville, Kentucky. He comes home on leave, and I'm at a party. And at this party, um, they're not allowing any more guys because there's the the ratio was was so off that the the guy that was having the party didn't want any more guys in in the party. So uh, anyhow, Jerry and his buddy come walking up, and we're kind of on the outside on the porch uh, outside the party. And Jerry and his buddy comes come walking up. And I go to my girlfriend, there's the guy that I wanted to ask to dance years and years ago. He's in the blue sweater. I claim him. <laughs> <laughs> so anyhow, so, uh, so uh, that was the beginning. He was in the Air Force Station in Charleston, South Carolina. I was in school. So we wrote, 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 wrote to each other. Um, we wrote, we had just basically a courtship of letters. You know, back then it wasn't, long distance calls were expensive and you no know, cell phone or any of that. So um, we just had a courtship of letters. We decided to marry. We didn't even live together our first year of marriage. So it wasn't until after we were married the second year that we knew each other. <laughs> it, was, it took us a while. And anyhow, things were going great. We both had college degrees. We both had great jobs. Um, then I had a, had a baby. Um, and, you know, things are still good. I was still holding my job. He was still holding his job. Then, uh, before my, my oldest baby was even two years old, I got pregnant with triplets. So, talking about a challenge to a marriage, that, that is probably, uh, probably a, a one that you could count as a, as a challenge. Anyhow, he was a great father, still is a great father. Uh, only trouble was we'd get, get the kids ready for church and all girls, so he, his big old fat fingers, he couldn't button the the little dresses, you know, when we get ready, get the kids ready for church, he couldn't button the little dresses, but he did their hair, he did everything. So anyhow, um, uh, that's my story, <laughs> and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> well, she's buried our souls. <laughs> she took my line away. I was going to say, well, does everybody smell fried chicken? And then you'd have to say, well, it's Wednesday night here. And then I'd say, no, it's because we're from Kentucky. <laughs> and, and we have met the colonel, so that, that's, that's a great, he was a wonderful fellow. Uh, we have four daughters. We have eight grandchildren. Uh, we've uh, had our trials and tribulations. Uh, probably the biggest challenge was we were both in heaven because we had one daughter, two incomes, and then we had four daughters and one income <laughs> and, and so I was on the road probably seven or eight years because I could make so much more money on the road and then uh, things settled down the kids got in the first grade and she went back to work uh, she uh, taught Spanish and I worked for the federal government and we were able to plug along. Probably one of the biggest challenges was raising four daughters through their teen years. Uh, that, that, was a, that was something else. Uh, we had uh, one year when they turned 16, the triplets, we had 11 wrecks to deal with and they were all totals. Now, they, they weren't their fault, but one. But still, our uh, her one nephew said, well, do you have the insurance company on speed dial? <laughs> and, uh, but that, that was a challenge, but they, they're all happily married now, 
and uh, doing great. Uh, we retired in 2004 and kind of, it's, uh, we babysit when we have to, but we're not going to do it all the time. Uh, we, we travel, uh, feel fortunate we're able to travel and fortunate that our, our kids are all extremely successful, so that helps a lot. And uh, we've been here since 2004. Uh, she got sick in Mazalon. Oh, don't go into all that, <laughs> my gosh. <laughs> and she said, uh, get me the hell out of this country. So it took me a day, and we had been here the year, year before during spring break, kind of checking out the valley. And we decided that Victoria Palms was the place to come. So we came here in, I guess, January of 2005 and been coming ever since during the winter. And probably uh, the thing that's kept us together probably more than anything is just the challenges. Each, each of us handle the challenges. And uh, supporting each other, always supporting each other.